Hello and welcome back to another video. I apologize for filming after such a long time, but hopefully this will make up for it. Um, it's a new person here, so I hope you'll make do with me for a while. This is episode number four of the build series, and this building is called Mayhem Mansion. I had an idea to create a house, something unique, something different from your normal build, so I decided to create a big house, a mansion, and this is what it looks like from the outside view. So uh, let's get straight into it. So here we have a small area where you walk into. It just has some shoe racks and two plants and clothing racks, because why not? Going straight into the house is your dining room, your dining table, some cabinets, and a few decorations on top. I also added a um, radio and a high chair. I'm starting a series soon, so hopefully that is sneak peek number one for the series. And moving straight into bedroom number one, the main bedroom of the house, um, we have a normal bed, cabinet, mirror, not uh, very luxurious, and some, I try to keep it as simple as possible. And there we have a bathroom uh, attached to it. And my character, whose name is Elizabeth Matthews, which will hopefully come to soon. The bathroom also, I kept it as simple as possible. I did have a wide space, so I kept it a bit large. Um, and yeah, it has a shower, a basin, toilet, everything as the usual. Now, attached to the bathroom and attached to the living room is a lounging area. It was a huge area, so I tried to keep it as simple as possible, but also make it look homely. So I just added some sofas, a TV, of course, a chess table in the middle of nowhere, and a reading area which looked very cozy to me in that time. I think I was reading the Harry Potter series at that time. And I was like, you know, we have to add something really cozy to this house. And then we go into the gymming area which has your three gymming equipment and some trophies on the wall for motivation. Because we all need some motivation to, st um, to gym at times. Now this area attached to the dining room and the gym, I don't even know what to call it. So I just like put a, a dollhouse, sneak peek number two, and a computer, and a bookcase. And it also leads outside, uh, the, the door leads to the outside. This is um, like kind of like a hobbies room, I would call it. It has all your painting, piano, music, etc, etc. A lot of paintings on the wall, which I don't know, I'm not into paintings a lot, but it looks really cool to me. Now, because of the stairs, I couldn't attach a door to the kitchen. So I had to make do with attaching a door to the hobby's room and the kids' room, which I'll come to just now. The kitchen is quite large, but I tried to, um, again, make it comfy, look comfy at least. Um, you got your coffee machine, your microwave, your fridge, your normal things in the kitchen. And I added a little plant because, you know, why not add a little plant? Now coming to the kids' room, which is the main sneak peek of the series I'm about to start, um... I added three toddler beds, a bassinet, and toys in the room. Um, comment down below if you know what series I am talking about that I'm about to start. And also attached to the kids' room is a kids' bathroom, which is my favorite part of the whole house. It looks so comfy and so colorful, and I love the wall. I just love the wall so much. I just love the floor too. I mean, it's so colorful and like jigsaw type. Anyway, that's the first floor. Going to the second floor, as you saw the stairs downstairs, it led to a room. I didn't know what to add there, so I just put some trees and lights. Now going to the first bedroom upstairs, all the rooms are basically the same layout. A bed, um, cabinets, desk, and a study room. Uh, this is the only uh, room in the house that has a single bed. But um, I think this looks like a very comfy room. I think. I would sleep there if I was in the game attached to the bedroom is a bathroom again your normal things that you have in the bathroom it's a little bit smaller bathroom but it's quite nice there's also a lounge upstairs um also kept it as bare as possible because i didn't know what else to add and that just looked comfy second bedroom upstairs uh one of the double bed bedrooms um this is the only room that has a three mirrored um mirror and i think i absolutely love it it looks so cool but as usual, you have your bed and your drawers and everything in a bedroom. 
and attached to that bedroom and the other bedroom is a bathroom. This is the third bedroom upstairs. It's more of a girly bedroom, but I really like it still. I, the pink isn't too girly and it's very nice. And this is um, kind of a living room, upstairs living room. It just gives me, you know, horror story vibes. You sit around and you just read horror stories. And the last part of the house is a very weird and unique idea, I would say. I did a kind of um, ver um, balcony type of thing where you have a brine area and stuff like that. Now going to the back of the house, we have the garden, um, some potting plants, a lot of trees, a lot of trees. And a lovely, lovely pool which has turtles inside, which was my another favorite thing of mine. And also I added some benches and a monkey bar because that could be sneak peek number four, I think. But yes, that is the house. I didn't add a lot because a lot of gymming, um, kids stuff because there is a playing area there. So yeah, I just kept it to the monkey bar. So yes, that is my build. I hope you enjoyed the build and I hope you will stay in the future for the series I'm about to come up with. Um, follow us on Instagram. Link is in the description. And like, comment, share and subscribe. Catch you next video.